Hey everyone, it's Miss Christy from East Pennsboro Library, and today I'm going to show you how to make two really fun play masks. A piggy mask that you will go oink oink, and a sheep mask where you can go ba ba. And I'm really excited about these. I did a lot of prep work ahead of time. And you can see I used some special happy paper on this one and the same happy paper on this one. So let's get this show started. <clears throat> We're gonna look at the pig mask first, the squealy piggy mask. And I just wanna show you a couple things. I put some extra ribbon curls on it and I made my nose a little bit puffy so that it stuck up a little bit. And let me show you the sheep mask that we're gonna take a look at. There's a picture of the Baba sheep mask. And of course, we need to look at what materials and supplies we're gonna need for both projects. <clears throat> for the piggy mask, you're gonna need two paper plates, pink paint and a paintbrush, some kind of pink paper, foil paper, construction paper. I think I have some pink wrapping paper I could have used. I used foil paper on mine. Glue, a black marker, ribbons or glitter, whatever you think looks good, and two craft sticks or straws. And for the sheet mask, you're gonna need a paper plate, cotton balls, pink paper, a black marker, and two craft sticks. Let's look at the pig directions and then I will show you what I did for mine. Get that up on the screen. So the first thing that you're gonna do is paint the outside rim of one paper plate. Then you're gonna use the round center cut of the plate to trace a circle on pink paper and cut that out. I am gonna provide you with the pig template for you to trace and cut the ears and the snout. And here's your pink paper in the center. Um, and I'm also gonna provide you with the template for the eyes and the ears, and you can draw some lashes and then you get to decorate it. <clears throat> so let's take a look at, let me show you first the template that you're going to use for the piggy mask. Here is, whoop, I don't know if I shared it or not. Hold on here. Temporary pause. Let's try again. Hmm. There it is. All right. So here is the eyeballs. Here's the ears. Here's the snout, and here is the two nostrils for the snout. I did a whole bunch of pre stuff so that I don't, we don't have to struggle through the whole mask together, but you can see my final product. The first thing that I did was took my paper plate and just like I did with the lion mask, I painted just the outside pink and I could leave some white in the center. And I cut out the inside of another paper plate to use to trace so that my pig face was the right size. And I'm gonna use regular pink construction paper this time. Let's put this down so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna get some glue out here and I'm gonna glue this to the center of the plate first. You can use glue gun, you can use clear glue. You probably could use a glue stick. And we've got the beginnings of what is going to be our pig face. And then I also went ahead, and of course, you know, when Miss Christie does her crafts, she likes to take the templates and glue them on the cardstock so that she can use them again. And I already traced and cut mine out. So I'm going to show you what to do. Here's my ears. I'm just going to take my ears. I have to look at my model so that I don't put my ears at the wrong spot. I'm going to just take my ears and I'm going to glue them on just like this for my piggy ears. And that'll only take me a second here. 
Uh, get those babies glued on there. One piggy ear. Two piggy ears. All right, so you can see how it's going to start to look like a piggy. Next thing that I'm going to do is glue on my snout. And I already glued on the nostrils for my snout. All right, so we've got our pig ears glued on. And now I'm going to glue my snout on. And I'm just going to glue my snout down here. And I'm not going to make it puffy for this one. So I just want to show you what to do here. So we'll get the snout glued on. And I think that I cut some eyes out here. Just two little white circles. I'm gonna glue those on quickly for the eyes. Guess I gotta open the glue up first. All right. So we've got eyeballs going on here. Boop. And look, it's starting to look like a little piggy. Next thing I'm gonna do is take my black Sharpie and I'm just gonna make the eye, whoops, the inside of the eye here. Should have probably waited for that to dry and I'm gonna draw a little bit of eyelashes to make it look cute. And I think that I might have, need a little more glue on here. There we go. And now I've got my little piggy mask and you can put some ribbons on it or do anything that you would like with it. And it can be your mask for play. For the back, I just took two craft sticks and I glued one to the center for support. And then I glued another craft stick to that one so I can use my mask like this. So now you know how to make the pig mask. <clears throat> the sheep mask, the directions are included for the sheep mask also. And let me share with you what the template looks like for the sheep mask. Ooh, there we go. I think that worked, let's see. Hmm. Give me a minute here. I'm sorry, folks. There we go. All right, so there's the left ear and the right ear and the inside left and right that are going to be pink, the eyes and the nose. Now this one is pretty easy to make too. For this one, I just took one paper plate for the base of the sheep. And I decided to use this paper plate that I cut out to make the pig mask. And I just glued it to the center of the other paper plate to give it a little extra support. All right, so we've got that glued onto the center for extra support. And let me move the computer down so you can see what I'm doing. I already made my pieces to glue on. The first thing I'm going to do is put these sheep ears probably right about here. And we'll get those babies glued down quickly. Oh, my glue is really getting hard to get out of the container. I think I need to clean the nozzle. There we go. Whoops. That's okay. I can clean that up. And I, well, I'm going to glue these. That's the nice thing about using clear glue. It comes right up. So now I've got my ears glued on to the top. You can see where I did that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put his little mouth right down here. Give him a dot of glue. This is kind of his nose. Stick that right on there. My fingers are all sticky. 
and I've got some eyes for my sheep already cut out. Hold on, we need a baby white break for the gluey hands. Best thing ever invented. And I'm gonna glue this eye right on here quick. Now it looks just like it's white against there for now, but watch, I'm gonna outline it. Oops. There we go. So it's starting to look a little bit like a lamb. And then I'm gonna just take my marker and I'm gonna kind of make a little mouth on here like this. And I'm gonna make my little dot in the center. And I always love to give everybody pretty eyelashes. So now I've got everything done for my sheet mask, except for the cotton balls. And I'm just gonna show you quickly. I put the cotton balls all over, but you can still see the eyes. If you get large cotton balls, you can pull them apart like this to make it kind of into a long length of cotton. And it's much easier to glue it where you need it. I started with the inside rim like this and I went little by little and glued my cotton on. And the nice thing is if you make any mistakes, like when I glued at the wrong spot, the cotton balls are gonna cover everything up. And I continue to do that all over the entire plate until I had my sheep mask. And then I did the same thing to the back. If you don't wanna use craft sticks, you could punch two holes here and use it as a tie mask. If you wanna be able to see, you could cut the eyes out so that you can see with your own eyes. I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that if you do make any of these projects that you're willing to share them with us on Facebook, on the East Pennsboro Library webpage or with me via email at ksgrignoli at ccpa.net. And before the weekend starts, as always, Ms. Christie has to remind you that I want to see you in person. So I got my Christmas animal mask out today since we're making animals. And if you notice, my down here is all animals too. I want to remind you to mask up when you go out anywhere because I want to see you in person really soon. Have a great weekend.